Kendra and today I have a DIY face mask for you. This is 100% all natural and is so easy to use. This is a mask for brightening up your skin tone. So if you guys have dark spots, if you have acne scars, dull skin, this would be a really good mask for you to use. So if you want to know how I make this mask, then just keep watching. So you guys might have some of these products already in your cupboard. Uh, if you don't, I ordered all of mine actually from Vitacost, super cheap on there. So the first thing you will need is garbanzo bean flour or chickpea flour. And it just comes in this. I get the Bob's, is it Bob? Yeah, Bob's Red Mill. So this is your base. Then you will also need some avocado oil. You can also use sweet almond oil, but just kind of whatever you have on hand. You will need some turmeric. This is by the company, The Spice Hunter. This is just ground turmeric. This is the main ingredient that's going to help our skin brighten up. And then last, this is optional, but I like to add some rosehip oil. This is by Oracacia. It's the Restoring Rosehip Oil with Vitamin E. So this is another thing to have in, in the mask. So I'm not a measuring person. I don't like to measure for anything. I just eyeball everything until it looks good to me. So what I like to do is start out with my flour. This is your base. So I take a little mason jar and start pouring this into a mason jar and this is going to kind of create that paste for you. Then you want to go in with your turmeric. So I usually add about one to two teaspoons approximately into the mixture and you don't want to go overboard with the turmeric because this can stain like your clothes and stuff so when you are using turmeric just be careful with it. This won't turn your skin yellow as long as you don't use too much of it so start off with a little bit just a teaspoon and if you want to add a little bit more the next time you make it go for it but um, start off with a smaller amount and then you can kind of go from there and see how your skin responds to this. So then I go in with my oils. So we have avocado oil. I pour a little bit of that into the mixture. This does a great job at keeping your skin really hydrated and moisturized. Avocado oil has a lot of fatty acids in there, which is super good for your skin, keeping your skin plump and filling out those fine lines. So definitely a must in my mask. Then I go in with some rosehip oil. I put about two pumps of this into the mix. And rosehip oil is really good at fading any areas of discoloration. This also has some vitamin E in here, so it's very healing to the skin and soothing. And then last, I add a little bit of water to the mix, mix everything up together, and then you'll kind of see the texture that it forms. And if it's a little bit too watery, just go in with some more flour until you get a thick paste like thick enough that it's a mass, it will actually stick to your skin. So I put it all over my face and then I let it sit for about 10 minutes. You will notice when it's ready, it hardens on your skin. So you'll know like when your face, when you can't really crinkle it anymore, that's usually when it's ready to wash off. So just wash off with warm water and you're done. So a couple things you will notice after using this mask. One is how smooth your skin feels after. Like when I use this mask, I cannot stop touching my skin. It feels so soft. So the oils do a really good job at evening out your skin tone, adding a lot of moisture into your skin. I love it. And then obviously the other thing you will notice is how much brighter your skin will look. So the turmeric does a really good job at lightening up your skin a little bit. It'll look more glowy and fresh and revived, just really good. If you guys are into using more natural, pure ingredients, definitely try this out. It's just so easy and simple, but it's really effective for your skin. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Also, if you do your own DIY face masks, let us know in the comments what types of ingredients you like to use just so we can get some more ideas. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you like DIYs. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Switching the brush to the bigger side, we are going to start blending. And I'm gonna start with my lighter colors blend those out first and then I go in with my darker shades.